Hi guys and welcome to another F1 Clash video by myself as a WF1. Thank you so much for all your support and if you haven't already please do like, comment and subscribe on the videos. It's very much appreciated. This week we have the Italian GP, so the Italian Grand Prix this weekend. And we also have the event on here for Sebastian Vettel. 10% increase on all stats, which should make this weekend quite interesting so we've already done four races so far let's bring you up to date with where we are at so we're currently sitting p6 we've done four races and we're on 168 points so let's break that down so in the first race we scored 47 points so great first race in monza it was in the wet and we absolutely steamrolled it. I think we lapped up to about 7th place. So that was a smashing race. Singapore was a bit unlucky with the old pit stops. Managed 36. We then moved on another 44 points in Suzuka. And then 41 points, which I've just done sitting at Canada. Which is not bad for me. So let's get on with it. I will show you something as we're out. Music Man. McGrady, Ewan Fernandez, and myself are always at the top in these GPs each week in our flag set. So we're always sitting at roughly the top four. I'll show you some quick screenshots of just sort of proof so we can keep an eye on that each day. And then we'll get into the last four races. So let's do it. So last week you can see I came second, Music Man always first, McGrady got third, and Ivan Fernandez come fourth. That's usually pretty much how it looks. Ivan Fernandez is doing well this week. Uh, McGrady, me in an old club um, and Music Man again. So it is very close between us, but let's see what this week can hold. Here we go then for the French Grand Prix. 100% rain, which should make it very interesting here. We've got a match-up that's slightly stronger than us in terms of team score, but 5th and 10th is not a bad qualifying at all. So let's go Hex on Norris, because you have to, because he's a beast with Hex. And we're going to go Tisa for Vettel. So I'm thinking maybe 4-4 four and four for Norris and a 5-3 and three for Vettel. We'll see how we get on. See if we can get a maybe a 42, 43 points as Vettel gets a decent start. He gets an even better start. Vettel straight into second. Now, he's bringing back his Red Bull days there. Norris has lost a position. So Nor Vettel will cut him down for second. Norris will cut down into 11th. Hopefully, he'll be able to pick up some positions with that Hex. Because that Hex is very strong. We'll try and boost him into this corner. Nothing doing just yet. Vettel nice and easy out front, especially if he's going for five laps. We'll make sure we keep them behind. Norris nearly loses position, but we keep that. It'll be interesting to see if the computer AI goes four. I think they're going to go four. As Vettel sitting nicely in second. And we'll do five laps. So we've got a good chance of a first place for Vettel here. Norris is going to be difficult. But hopefully that hex, if when we start pushing, which will be shortly, can bring him through. I'm just wondering if we can undercut. They might pit three laps here, the AI. I'm thinking about trying it and risking it. Uh, we'll see what they do first as Norris gets into 10th. We're going to boost Norris now. Vettel's comfortable. We'll just see if Russell pits. That's the key. If Russell pits here, they're going to go for free. And Russell does pit. So I'm going to match that. I'm, I'm going to do actually four now. Because there's no need to push extra. So Norris up to fourth. We'll cut him down. Oh, he nearly looks like he spins. 
So I am going to have room to come back at them with Norris. I was going to do five with Vettel, but there's generally no point, and we've got a 7.2 second gap as Vettel comes in. So the AI is going to have to pit again, that's clear. They will mainly have to pit again. Vettel comes out in the lead. Now, did that extra bit of push help Norris? It did. Norris is going to come out in seventh place. And with one, two, four potentially to pit. So we'll keep an eye on the gap. And then when it looks like they'll pit, I'll start pushing again. Just going to leave Vettel on medium boost to keep Russell behind. So the question is, can we get third maybe with Norris? When do they look like the pit? I think they're going to pit next lap. So I'm going to push Norris now. This is the key here. Push Norris, let him close the gap and then we can conserve later. Vettel's comfortable in the lead. Can we get past Hamilton? Be a crucial one to get past. Easy. That Norris Hex is wonderful. Look how easy it is for Norris. Into fifth now. We are going to have to cut down because we're nearly at 50%. There's Norris now into third. And just Leclerc ahead. So I'm going to boost it. Norris as long as I possibly can. Maybe down to the next. We'll actually cut him down there. We are first and second now. Great moves by Norris. Guys, honestly, if you've got Lando Norris, put Hex on him and you won't be disappointed. Look how quick he's going. And that's on medium boost. I'm going to cut him down though. We'll boost Vettel just because we can. Norris hopefully has enough tyres left in him. He's got a two and a half second gap to Leclerc. So it should be good to the end. As Vettel comes around the last few corners. And Sebastian Vettel takes the win. 24 points for Vettel. Norris is going, driving out his skin, but he's going to pick up second. So a very solid 47 points. Wait for the rival to finish, who's 9 and 14. So the, the rival actually had a higher team score, but is going to finish 8th and 13th potentially here. So we have used a perfect strategy and a perfect boost. Remember, I was going to go Vettel 5 and 3, but for the fact that the AI pitted, there was no point. I might as well push a 4, build the gap, and then conserve to the end. 47 points then. It was a lower team score for us as well. We'll just check out what everyone else did. So everyone else did do a 3-3-2. Three, three, he had a level 7, level 7 Vettel. And slightly better car, I would say, on reliability. Right then, let's move on to the next one. Race 6 then, and we are at Austria. One track that I haven't done a while in GP. So this should be a bit fruity. Where can we qualify? We are qualifying 10th and 11th. So a bit of work to do. So let's go and see what we can put on. So SAR and I'm thinking a... Ooh, probably a Taurus, I think. And let's see what we can do here. So maybe a five laps and a six laps coming up is probably going to be the best bet for me. Maybe five laps on Vettel, six laps on Gasly. Try and do a one-stopper. As we're off and we're Vettel into ninth. Okay. Yep, Vettel into a better position. Vettel into eighth, Gasly up into tenth. Vettel into seventh now. So a good start. We will cut down at the end of this corner. See if Vettel can get that position off Norris. He can't. So let's cut down there then. Great start. 
We've got some hard tyres in front of us, so we'll see how long they go. We'll also try and push past. Because we don't want to get stuck behind these, so 6th and 5th is going with hard tyres. See if we can get Vettel past. Can we get him into the main corner here? We can't. Vettel now. Not quite. So Vettel struggling to get past. Gasly holding on to that 10th. So remember Vettel we're doing 5 laps we're going to go for. And we're going to get ahead of Norris. So another two hard tyres in front of us. We don't want to slow up too much. Gasly's definitely going to go six, I reckon, as Vettel into fifth. So I've got another two laps on Vettel. Six percent tyres overall, which is not bad. We've got some bit spare. Not too bothered about Gasly losing that position. As Vettel over the back of Leclerc. And we are going to push now, I feel, Vettel. As we get Vettel into 4th, 5 laps is 20%, so we've got a bit of room to work with here. Vettel into 3rd now, and we'll come back. So Gasly now ninth. We can get 3 soft. Uh, yeah, well let's push to the end, let's push with Gasly and Vettel, we've got enough gap. But there is a load of hard tyres in, so I am going to push a little bit longer. Try and get ahead of some of these. It does work a little bit. We could have gone for a pit stop on Gasly then. But I felt I didn't want to get trapped behind the hard tyres, but I thought they were going to pit, but they didn't. So that was probably the play. The play was to pit. And I would have undercut them and come out on some faster softs at four laps. But that was our decision. Let's try and work back up then with three laps on the softs. Not much going to be pitting either, so we're going to have to do the hard way. But always check your AI, because your AI, you, if you look at the AI then and saw the hards, I thought they were going to pit, so I stayed out, but they didn't. And then they pitted and I pitted, so I didn't make anything up. I should have pitted, really, and undercut them. I would have got another three places, two, three places there, as Vettel's trying to go for the lead. Still got a lap to go, and I'm running low on, uh, I'm low and low on fuel. Let's get him past, though. So Vettel into the lead. Gasly over the back of Hamilton. Alonso is going to pit. Vettel not looking good on fuel here. We have pushed him hard. We've got the lead though. As Gasly is sitting in seventh. I definitely should have done that lap sooner on the undercut. So Vettel wins. Gasly coming around now, no more places, so 7th place, so we learn from that one, it is a 42 points, but we could have probably got 45, I'd have said easy, if we would have pitted earlier, so there we go then, that's that one done, let's just have a look, 7 and 8 stroll, and the cars weren't far off being even, so let's move on to the next one, race 7, and we are from Silverstone, the UK, the home of British racing. Can we get a good qualifying position? 11th and 13th, not the best. We've got some rain coming as well by the look of it. So I'm going to risk it and go for my a bit of mix on the boosts here. So I'm going to go for a hex on Norris. And then I'm going to go longer on Vettel. And I'm going to pray that we get one of them right. Okay, so let's get at it. 2 minutes 21. So we're going to get rain at the end of this. Question is, can we not have to pit as we're off? 
Hopefully we can do a one stop straight onto wets here and then fly through the field. We've not had a great start. As Vettel, can he go up the inside? He can, great move by Vettel. We'll cut him down after this cut hairpin. And he'll keep hold of that, let's cut them down. So we're gonna try and definitely go a one stop here now. We're gonna have to change it because of the weather. The original plan was to maybe do a 3-2-2 with Vettel and a 4-3 with Norris, but because of the rain, we're definitely gonna change it up here. That's one to factor, always watch the rain and watch the AI. These medium runners are probably going to pit lap three. Soft tyres are going to pit lap two. So it's always worth watching out what they do. So that means if I can stay out, that's eight seconds less of a pit stop that I've got to make. So I'm actually feeling pretty confident here that we're in a good position. And Vettel can go to the end on wets. Norris, we can push pretty hard on the wet as well. As we have nobody pitting yet. But I'm pretty sure everyone's going to come in for three laps here. And with the rain coming in, we are going to try and close a little bit. We can't push too hard because we're going to get stuck behind Bottas. We can't really push Norris because he hasn't got the tyre management. So let's hope that all these pit. They should all pit. And then they don't think they're going to go on to wets. They're not. So we've got a great chance here. As Vettel comes out in P5. Norris comes around into P7. We're going to pit both of these for wet tyres. I'm just really hoping that the wet weather is a few minutes long. Where it's going to get too wet. That's what I'm hoping for. Not just a 10 seconds. And it's not, it's three minutes, so that's even better. We're going to be the, probably with Russell, one of the very few that are on wet tyres here. And I fancy my chances with Norris on Hex. We might double stack. We are going to double stack. But I don't mind that. The rival's probably going to get out ahead of us. He is, but that's okay. But we should now be able to come ahead as we rival does get ahead of us that hasn't really worked but Vettel is going to pick us some, some points and hopefully Norris from somehow down in whatever that is there can fly through so Vettel round the outside can we get Russell that's our big wet tyre comparison and the rain is really coming down now so we've still got two laps no one's pitting, or one is pitting, but they're pretty much out of it. We're going to have to push Norris as hard as we can. And Norris is good on that hex. Come on, Norris. Come on. Can we get one up the inside or outside? Can we get the rival? Not quite. Vettel's still stuck behind Russell. We need Vettel past Russell because he's the wet tyre. Can we got the inside? We can. Vettel into first. Norris is still trying to get past the opponent. And he's not going. He's going to get held up. And we're going to not get ahead of the Ferrari coming out the pits either. As Norris goes to the outside. It's not really worked out. Still got Verstappen on hards. Norris is really fighting that Vettel. Come on, Vet Norris. One last hex push. We're going to go to the end. I'm risking it. Right behind the rival. It's not going to work. Nope. So double stack cost us a place there. We're still taking 44 points. I can't complain too much, but there was scope. When you're at the top in these group stages, you need every point you can. So 44 points, we did have a slightly less team score, we had a 7 and 7, 8 and 7 for me, 
cars was fairly similar or similar if i can get my words out one more race to go and it's from monza so let's get at it last race then at monza race eight out of eight for the opening round it is very much all to play for going into tomorrow as well which we'll look at after this so let's have a look then uh dead fast we're going to go for vettel and gasly we're going to put on a tour a tour or something i want to get the four laps mainly uh we're going to go for a street shark i'm feeling dead fast and a street shark and we're going to go for a 3-3-2 on Vettel and a 4-4 on Gasly. As we tick off, Vettel gets another good start. He got a good start on the first race. And Vettel is all the way around. Oh, oh we're going to get unlucky. Vettel ninth. He could have, should have been seventh. Gasly trying to get past the rival. Oh, that's annoying. That could have been so good of a start, but we're going to have to settle for ninth. But that's not the end of the world at all. So 3-3-2 three, three, on Vettel. We're going to go 4-4 four, four, Gasly, unless anything changes. And it looks like Gasly will probably jump up a fair few overall. As we boost him into the corner, just to hold on. Vettel still ninth. So that's not bad. Gasly, we're going to push from probably the straight. And let's push Vettel. Let's push Gasly from here. So no pit stops just yet. We are going to pit this lap though. And I'm going to go for a Vettel with no service. Try and see if we can jump a few. Gasly 13th, but Gasly's going to benefit from a fair few pit stops here. So Gasly might even go sort of top four, top five here. As Vettel comes into the pits. Remember, no servicing, so he might be able to jump. We'll see. He was ninth. Gasly into fifth. Try and keep that position. So Gasly P5. Nice P4 for the opponent. As we're going to go mediums again. Probably could have done with a Taurus for Gasly. But I wanted to take the extra overtaking. As Vettel now still 13th. A few pit stops coming through. Vettel struggling to get past. And we'll cut Vettel down. The strategy hasn't really worked for Vettel. We could have done with maybe going for the mediums like Gasly. A few pit stops still ahead, but the leaders probably won't pit. And let's boost Vettel around here. And then we'll come back for a pit stop again. Vettel into ninth. Can we get eighth? We can. That's a good good jump up there, the inside. Vettel now trying to get ahead of the rival who's on softs. Gasly, we're going to push shortly. So maybe at the next corner, we'll push Gasly to the end, like there. We'll cut Vettel down just so we don't run out of tyres and slow us down. It's going to be close. Gets away with it. So P8 for Vettel, boosting to the end. Gasly will be boosting to the end. A bit harder for Gasly though, but Vettel's back out. There will be some last lap pit stops, especially from Norris and the rival. 
and also Alonso and Vettel. So potentially three places, maybe two to get via pit stops. Gasly will jump ahead of the rival Norris and hopefully Russell pits as well, but he doesn't. You can see with Vettel starting ahead of Gasly that this strategy did not work on the softs. As Vettel now into 10th, into 9th. So something to think about for me in the final round of what strategy to use in Monza on the last race. Remember the first race we had, which you didn't see, was actually in the rain. So first attempt at dry here. And one last push. We can't get Hamilton, but he has run out of tyres, Russell. So that's P5. And Vettel trying to get past Perez. Can't do it. So, 5th and ninth, 36 points. So not great. We need to tidy up that Monza strategy for the finals. Because that's going to cost us, could potentially be a top three. So 36 points. Slightly lower team score, so we were up against it. Everyone did do a 3-3-2 was the most common. So see Vettel matched a 3-3-2 and he struggled for it. Whereas Gasly went the opposite and he benefited from it. That's why you should do the opposite. Okay, let's have a look where that leaves us. For champion. So we are currently P3. 337 points. And what did I say at the start of this video? Music Man, Fernandez, me and McGrady usually end up at the top every week. So it is all to play for. I do want to shout out McGrady. Reason being, that 277 doesn't represent his scores. He did have a free in the first race. So that's very unlucky from him. Probably a disconnection. But Music Man and Ivan Fernandez are the ones to chase at the moment. That will come tomorrow on Sunday's final round. So if you haven't already, do like and subscribe. Any comments or questions on your GP, put them in the comments section and I will get back to you uh, today. Or whenever you're watching the video. And I will catch you for the final round. Cheers, guys.